My name is Sheikh Bahadur, residing in Hyderabad city ever since 2002. In March 2019, suddenly I had heart attack. I was placed in two stands. Then afterwards, again in 2022, June 5th, again I got heart attack. Then they installed three stands. But the treatment was not well in the particular hospital of Hyderabad city. So my sister's son, Mr. Sherali is a sub registrar officer. He is well known to Dr. Bharat Vijay Purohit. So, on his request on 3rd January 2023, I came to Yashoda Hospital, High Tech City. For the reasons that again I was getting problem, my respiratory system almost burst. Dr. Purohit was consulted number of times. Again, on March 3rd, 2023, Dr. Purohit and Dr. Vikram Reddy of Yashoda Hospital, Atec City was conducted open heart surgery. But it is my bad luck. Even then, my health was not good. Again, I was facing the same problem. So, repeatedly asking the Dr. Purohit ji, what happened sir? Again, I have spent a lot of money, but I am unable to recover. So, then he has prepared, taken a chance to have a special surgery. I think what I came to know, this surgery was the first time conducted in Telangana, the two, especially in Yashoda Hospital, Hightech City. After that, surgery was conducted on 23rd October 2023. On the very first day of my surgery, 100% I am quite well, I am feeling well, I am able to take uh, air well, everything is well. I can't forget the services of Dr. Prohid. He has taken a lot of pains. He has taken a lot of pains. He has taken much interest. Of, I will pray God to increase his life and services towards the public. I cannot forget him. After God, I can say he is a, my God. That I can say. I have a lot of experience with him. Anyhow, he saved my life. He said before surgery, it is very risky. I can't say whether you may alive or not. Even then, I have given because I have lot of confidence Dr. Purohit. So, he has summoned some doctors from out of the state. Though there was Dasra festival on Sunday, that is 23rd of last month, how can I forget Dr. Purohit? I cannot forget. Even Dr. Vikram Reddy ji also, as well as Dr. Vijay Varma ji also. I have hands up that too. Since the last 21 years, I have seen number of hospitals. Everywhere they want some money, even from the housekeeping. Sir, sir, but I didn't find. I didn't find here. Even if I pay 150 rupees, even they refuse to take. It is too much. I cannot forget this center out of. Very, very, I don't have words to appreciate the services of Yashoda Hospital. I cannot forget. Ever since his housekeeping to the doctors. Agar koi thayar gaya, I mean, name alone, if I am new, layman, he will come and ask, where do you want to go? I never saw in the other hospital in Hyderabad city. Is it not a great thing of Yashoda Hospital? Yes. I don't have words to appreciate. I don't have words. I can't forget. I'm very happy. I'm very happy I'm because since last four years, seven months, I suffered a lot. Spent about 50 lakhs rupees towards my health. But finally, from 23rd October onwards, I'm happily eating, sleeping, everything because of best wishes, best service of Dr. Bharat Vijay Purai. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Bharat Vijay Purohit, Senior Consultant Cardiologist, Director of Cath Lab, Yashoda Hospital, High Tech City. I will be sharing my experience with a very unique case and a very challenging one. It's a case of percutaneous transcatheter mitral wall replacement in a patient who already had a pre-existing mitral ring. So this gentleman, he initially came to us with heart failure. He had already had a multiple stent implanted in the previous hospital. When we evaluated, we found that his heart was weak and he had got a severe mitral regurgitation. It is basically a leak in one of the major walls of the heart. After discussing with the family, we decided that the patient should go for a surgery. The surgery was performed and uh, the mitral wall was repaired. There was a critical narrowing in one of the stent for which during the surgery, a graft was put. And after the surgical procedure, patient really did very well for almost three to four months. But unfortunately, after four months, 
patient again started developing signs of heart failure and breathlessness. It was so severe that patient had to be hospitalized for two or three times in a span of one to two months of time. Patient was really very unwell and at that point of time we evaluated again and we found that the leak which was initially repaired has again come back and patient is having severe leakage of the mitral valve. We call it as a severe mitral regurgitation. Now, we discussed with the family the options which are there with him and we had only two options. One is go with a redo surgery and replace the valve. And second option was to percutaneously put mitral valve which we call is as a TMVR or transcatheter mitral valve replacement. And this was a case who already had a ring in the mitral valve annulus. Now, the challenge in this patient was in view of his poor general condition and very very high risk involved with the redo valve surgery we decided to go with a percutaneous approach and family also agreed for a percutaneous approach and that's where we decided to do the procedure of tmvr in a valve in ring the ring which was there is fluoroscopically not visible and generally we all do our tmvr under the guidance of a fluoroscopy and in this patient the ring was not visible. So we looked into the literature and we found that there is no such case reported all across the world. And it was a major procedure for him. Slightest of error in deployment of the valve could lead to potential catastrophic complication and it could lead to even death of the patient on the table because the valve may dislodge and get embolized distally. So we discussed this case with multiple doctors all across the world and uh, including uh, some of my seniors and other colleagues and uh, we designed a strategy and before doing the procedure we discussed among ourselves how are we going to do the procedure and then subsequently we took the patient to the cath lab and by everybody's support and everybody's help and the excellent infrastructure and the excellent facility which we have in the, our hospital we were able to perform the procedure without any complication and patient recovered within three days of time and he was discharged from the hospital within 72 hours. It was really a challenge which we successfully overcome and patient was treated very well and he recovered well. And subsequently patient came for follow up and he is doing really very well and the best part was the patient says that the moment the wall was deployed to him he is really feeling very well and the breathlessness has settled down so it was a unique case uh, with a lot of educational material in this because after this experience many of other people who are suffering for a similar complication can be treated with this experience which we had and which will be shared with all the medical fraternity and other scientific community across the world thank you very much